Hello, here I have the median sagittal section of female pelvis. Now I will start with telling you the boundaries of female pelvis. So anteriorly here we have the pubic bone and posteriorly we have the fifth lumbar vertebra, the sacrum and the coccyx. Now moving on to see what are the structures that are present inside the female pelvis. So we will go from anterior to posterior. So anteriorly we have the urinary bladder as you can see here which continues as urethra. Posterior to that we have the uterus. Here we have the fundus of the uterus, this is the body of the uterus. It communicates with the cervix through the internal os. And this is the cervical canal and this is the external os. So cervix, it communicates with the vagina through the external os. This whole thing that you can see here is the vagina. Then posterior to the uterus, we have the rectum and here we have the anal canal. Now when we move lateral to the uterus, we can see a few structures like this is the fallopian tube and this is the fimbriated end of the fallopian tube. This structure you can see here is a ovary and this is the ligament of ovary. And here you can see the broad ligament of uterus. Now the peritoneum folds itself over the pelvic organs and forms different folds. So there is a fold which extends between the urinary bladder and the uterus here. This is called as the vesicouterine fold forming the vesicouterine pouch. And here behind the uterus, between the uterus and the rectum, we have the rectouterine fold which forms the rectouterine pouch which is also called as the pouch of Douglas. The pouch of Douglas is the most dependent part of the female pelvis in standing position. Thank you.